So, what makes a good event professional? When I was thinking about this video, I thought about the event industry and all the different roles that people have and very quickly realised, okay, there's so many roles, which means we have all sorts of talents and skills and qualities that you can find in people. So what I decided to do is come up with five. Five things that a lot of people will have, no matter what their role is. Now, I have worked in the event industry for over 10 years and I've met so many great people in that time. When I think about all those people, a lot of them have these skills and may have three or four that they're really strong at and the other one is a bit whatever but I recognize these things on a lot of people which is why I can be quite confident about them so let's get into it let's get into these five number one is an ability to stay calm you will have stress on events it's almost inevitable the level of stress is going to vary definitely but what I say is how you manage that stress and that all the pressure and all the things going on is what makes a difference. An ability to really stay calm in those circumstances is so key, so, so key. You cannot be a person who starts screaming and yelling and just doing all of this. Keep composure. I always find that if I take a moment to breathe and pause and stop, look at the schedule, look at the situation in hand, I do better. The second one is being organised. I think if you click this video, you were expecting that one from me, definitely. And it's important. Being organised is important. But I want to add into this point, being able to multitask. You're going to probably have more than one project. You're definitely going to have more than one person to communicate with at one time. Which brings me on to the third point, which is being a good communicator. Now, what I mean by that is that you're able to communicate over email, over the phone and in person. I can't think of any more. You do well with your communication before the event. And you're making sure you're telling people what needs to happen. You're putting schedules together. You're sending those out to all the right people. You just during the event, you're going to need to communicate as well. Things are going to be moving and changing all the time. One thing I always say is that you can't leave things unsaid. And what I mean by that is don't let anything be left up to assumption. You can't assume that somebody knows that something starts at a certain time, that they need to get to a certain place. The more you can communicate, the more you can be clear, the better. If you make a phone call, make sure you follow that up with an email always, okay? You cannot just rely on what he said, she said, they said. You need it on an email so that you can go back to it if you need to because there's going to be times when someone's going to say oh i didn't say that i didn't agree that oh well you did we have it on an email promise you you will want those emails to back up things that have been said so you're organized you communicate well and then something happens you did not see coming at all you need to be able to be flexible you need to be able to adapt and move when things change what could change or well, literally anything <laughs> a speaker that cancels a couple of days before your conference you might have an artist that runs late you could be having a conference and on the day the conference is going to start the venue calls you and tells you that you can't use their venue that happened to me that happened to me and that's a story for another video you just need to be able to figure out what you're going to do next really quickly and really effectively and then you want to be good with people this one i think can be used for any industry depending on the event you do you're going to work with the speakers the artists the public maybe you're going to deal with artist management you're going to deal with agencies suppliers your team the list can go on and on and on this becomes even more important if you choose to freelance like I do. I've been freelancing for a few years now. Before that, I worked for companies. And in the time that I've been freelancing, a lot of my work has come through word of mouth. If I had built up a reputation for being difficult to work with, I can guarantee you that wouldn't have happened. I always say this, your reputation will go ahead of you. And what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that when someone says your name, they're pairing it with something positive. And I don't want you to think that I mean suck up to people, don't be yourself. It's none of that. I'm not saying you need to be eccentric or extrovert or any of those things. Do your work well, get on with people and you'll do good. If you're new to the industry, I would definitely recommend working on these five things as a base. There's going to be so much more you need to do, but these five things will take you really far. As you do more and you gain experience, you get better and better and better. 
Thank you to everyone that's already subscribed. This is still quite a new channel for me. If you're watching this in a few years time, then it won't be. But this is only my second video at this point in time. So stay tuned, subscribe, join us, and I will see you on my next video. If you're new to the industry, I would definitely... <laughs> oh, I'm hot. And bitten. <laughs> you're just looking at a situation thinking, <laughs> we did not see that. So, so what makes a good event professional?